Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have the latest release from Black Widow. These are the Black Widow Dragon. They're a 36 count set. Uh, you will know it'll be edition 4000 DG. Very excited. I did take the initial plastic off, but the rest of the unboxing we will do together. So nothing on the inside lid, but let's see. Yep, so the colors are here on the back. Um, yeah, it just has the usual same info. But let's get my X-Acto knife out and see if we can't. So they have that usual plastic wrapping that they're known for. I am going to swatch these with you guys, but I am kind of just going to... Ooh, that was loud do a quick swatch because I am waiting for like I want to see how these look and put them in you know color order or hopefully someone else will do it for me that's <laughs> so lazy but let's see oh wow these trays are flimsy oh uh, looks like I got some shifting here first I was like I'm missing one but they moved so hang on this isn't tedious at all. <laughs> uh, you know, we're just going to put that there and call it a day. Okay. So yeah, the cases are pretty flimsy, but I don't plan to keep them in this tin. They'll be going into my um, case that already has all the other Black Widow sets. I have all of them. This is the latest one. Uh, so I do notice that they've stuck with that larger color dipped end that they started doing with their skin tone and monarch series. Um, it has dragon, dragon symbol, the name, and then the code DG135. These have a gold little thing there. Um, so quick glance, I'm seeing some browns, more purples, um, and some purples here, but still not I was kind of hoping for more. I feel like Black Widow's purples are sometimes a little lacking, but we got more pinks. We even might have gotten a pastel there. Some more orange and yellows. And then we've got some more greens coming through here. Uh, looks like we had a couple blues and then some browns. So let's kind of swatch them and see what we get and then I do have my Black Widow chart nearby and we can kind of compare. I'm not bothering to fill this out. I'm just going to swatch them in the order. I have them in these little tins right now. Because like I said, um, either myself or someone else is going to put them all in order. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm really hoping other people will. Okay, this is Mellow Yellow. Ooh, it's like a really bright yellow. Look at the brightness on that thing. That is very bright. I feel very soft. Around a gold dust. I didn't pre-sharpen. Should I? Probably. But this is just a first impressions. I actually plan to color with the, with them um, this week. Kind of see how they fit in. Serpent. A nice orange color. I do you want to compare them to what we've got so far and see if they're filling in any of those gaps? Because there are some gaps. Um, every time Black Widow comes out with a set, I'm like, oh, that, I don't feel like they have a gap. And then, then you see it, Sandpiper. So I'd like to see. This color kind of reminds me of one they already have. I just can't put my, my finger on it. But it's something. I've seen it. Not bad though. Very soft. Orange peel. Again, I'm just kind of swatching these colors out quickly. I don't want to waste the lead. I mean, I don't even think you can get these right now. I think they're sold out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, keep your eye out. They may have finally restocked. I know. It's just like with Monarchs, guys. They they popped up, disappeared, and then they're back. Light rest. So if you can't get them right now, just put them on your um, 
watch list and I guarantee they'll be back. You know, it's like with any pencil release, things just sell out a lot quicker. Ooh, I like that orange. Okay, Sundown. I've always loved the names of Black Widow. I will say, these remind me more of the softness of the Monarchs. They're definitely softer. Uh, Dragon Breath. It's like a nice vermilion color. Yeah, but I've always loved the names of these pencils. They're just so unique. You can never mistake them for another brand. Um, Lady Jane. Sorry if you hear some background noise. I think the contractors just arrived. I was like rushing to film. Oh, I like that pink. Okay. Maiden pink. Ooh, I like that one. It's very pretty pink. Yeah, the softness reminds me a lot of the Monarch series. Rosy. Ooh, that's a really nice red violet color, too. I really like that one. Nail polish. It's a pretty pink. Not a not a nail polish color for me, but probably for others. <laughs> but it's kind of got like a, a red violet tone to it. Um crimson stone. Ooh, that's a pretty one too. I'm liking that one a lot. Hoping I can play with these this week. Ruby Rose. Maybe even get them into some Christmas pages, although so far these colors aren't very Christmassy. <laughs> so we'll have to wait on that that idea. They look really good for like fall though. Look at all those autumnal colors. Uh bruise. Ooh. That's kind of wicked. <laughs> Oh, look at that. It's like a grayed lavender type purple. I like it. And I'm not pushing too hard. Uh, Shiraz. Oh, yeah. That is definitely a Shiraz color. Look at that one. Gosh, with this 36 set, and they already have 144... This is becoming one heck of a set of pencils. Bloodshot. But I mean, hey, there's companies out there with 500 plus pencils, so obviously there's always room for growth. <laughs> Ooh, I like the name of this one. Evil Red. Oh, it's like a really dark blood red. This one, oh, there we go. Poor angling. Okay, what did I do with the other tray? It's always hard to get them out of these little trays. This is Calm Lime. Yeah, I could see that. It's pretty calm, right? It's not too bad. Grass blade. It's a nice bright green. This one I feel like they already have, but we'll get the we'll get my chart out and look. Zombie. I do like that they're adding more greens. Um, not that they were short on greens. I just felt like the greens they had, sometimes you kind of felt like you didn't have a lot to work with blending-wise, or they were just two different color families. 
pine. So it's nice to see some more greens. Now initially, I think the rumors were that these were going to be more like darker landscape type colors. But I don't know about you guys, I'm not seeing that. Um, now the company didn't say that, that was just kind of a rumor mill floating about green glow. Yeah, I don't know if I would say these are like muted landscape-ish tones. They're all very bright, if anything. I would say they're pretty bright. But could you just buy this set and get away with these colors? You could. I mean, look at this. Um, so this is one of those sets where you could probably get away with buying it and not needing the others. Fizz. You know, because Black Widow originally was a budget pencil. But over the years, you know, as they add more and more sets, when you add up the cost to buy each set, it does get pretty pricey. I'm not going to lie. And so that's always something to consider. But there's some sets you can buy, like their initial 24 count sets. This is Wizard. Uh, you, you didn't have much to work with, but like the Monarch, which is 48, and this one here, which is 36, you definitely have a lot more colors to play with. And I mean, so you've got color families, so you can definitely do more saber. Ooh, that's, that's a luscious color. I really like that one. Okay, Pleasant Blue. I do wish there was more purples. Um, what on earth? Isn't this a 36 count swatch chart? <laughs> Did I print the wrong size swatch chart? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Um, I, I printed a 30. It was labeled as a 36, though, in my defense. It's all right. We'll just swatch them below. It's like I said, this is just a temporary one. Dark Knight. It's a nice gray. I don't think they have a gray like this one, so this will be a good addition. Even that blue would be a good one. Cobblestone. I don't think they have that gray either, so I think this would be a really good one too to add. Picasso Sky. And I'll be doing some coloring this month with these. I'll probably have to integrate them a little more. So I thought this would be a purple, but I'm thinking it's going to be a blue because it's, well, called Blue Tongue, but it's like a blue-violet. But yeah, they definitely need better purples. That's my biggest thing, I would say. Saddle. That's a nice earthy tone. Okay. Uh, brown brick. It's actually a really nice one too. Okay. Castle. Alright. Hopefully you guys don't hear the insulators downstairs. They're installing insulation today. <laughs> uh, okay. Dungeon. Ooh, it's like a really deep green, like a deep olive green. I like that one. Okay, cardboard. That's a nice olivey color too. It's like a green gold almost. Okay, let's put these off to the side for a second. Grab my Black Widow chart. Just gotta find it. Okay. 
so here are my original black widows um so let's look at this yellow here it's a very very light yellow but it's pretty close to sunburst it's just a little bit lighter so it's kind of in between the two um these little oranges here actually i think those are going to fit in perfectly and this one this is the one where i was like i feel like i've seen that because see how they're pretty close to one another also um yeah i mean they would kind of fit down in here but that one candy almost matches that one all right that orange I think will be a good transition because sunset into the other ones I'm just trying to see if any of these other colors pop out at me so like the pinks they added some good pinks in here although bubble gum and this one here are kind of close um this lighter pink though I think actually will be really good because they don't have a lot of those um oh fudge is really close to that one too all right let's see this one here i think yeah because they have burgundy over here but it's a little this is a little lighter this red will be nice it's not matching up with any of the ones there and uh, the browns or actually let's look at this purple yeah, I guess that'll fit in there really well. See what I mean about their purples? It's just like, not a lot to work with there. But like, okay, so I mean, there's tons of greens in these sets already. And I mean, they're not too bad. Although that one there is really close to passion. Looking at the blues. Okay, so this one here is actually going to fit in great. It's not matching up with any of the blues. Same with that one, this one right here. Um, this like pine-ish green. Yeah, I'll fit nice in between those. I mean, overall, not too bad. It's a good selection. It's a lot brighter than I had anticipated the colors to be. I thought these were going to be a lot more neutral. and Because Black Widow is always bright. I mean, look at this whole thing here. <laughs> It's always been bright um so I, I kind of you know it had been rumored that these would be a lot different and you know more neutral tones and i'm not seeing that and some of the colors they've released like these two here are really close to one another and so are these so they're kind of close to some that's in there but i think once we put them in color family order that's when i can come back and say okay here's what i think so I'm not going to like officially, you know, make a statement on them at all right now. Um, I love that they're, they have that same smoothness of the Monarchs. Um, I do love some of these color additions and I definitely want to get them in color family order and kind of see where they've added and filled in the gaps. But yeah, if you're looking to just buy one set of Black Widows, this might be the one to do because these colors all work wonderfully. You've got browns for everything. You have pinks. Now you're going to be kind of short on the purples, but this could blend with like all of these. So, um, but this one has the most variety, I would say, whereas the Monarch, you had a lot of pastels, but yeah. Um, and then I also want to give a special thanks to the team at Black Widow because they did give me these for free to swatch for you guys. But as always, um, whether it's free to me or not, that doesn't ever change my opinions. I'm always going to give you an honest opinion. And I will be playing with these this month and definitely get a review going on what I think of these and then also what I think of the entire set as a whole. Like, should you buy them all? Like, what are you going to get? What sets could you get, you know, get away with not buying? So I definitely want to get into that. But Thanks for hanging out with me while I swatch the new Black Widow Dragons. Again, thank you to the lovely Black Widow team for sending these to me. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye.